Father's Day may have already passed, but for Columbus, Ohio native Pete Crozier, he decided that one day wouldn't be good enough to show just how much his dad meant to him. Pete is currently traveling the country hitting 50 states in 50 days to play one round of golf a day in honor of his dad and his son. And we caught up with Pete at Old Works in Anaconda earlier this week to see what's driving him to complete this once in a lifetime journey. Well, this story starts with my dad and ends with my son. Um, as I turned 50 years old this year, I decided to combine my three memories of my dad as a planner and a traveler and a golfer. With every ball hit, every step taken, and every mile driven across the country, Pete Crozier has been golfing 50 courses in 50 states in 50 days for very important and personal reasons. My dad died 20 years ago with complications of type 2 diabetes. 10 years later, my four-year-old son Gavin was diagnosed with type 1. So I'm doing the whole thing I call 50 for Father as a fundraiser for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Every year, Pete and 16 of his closest friends would travel all across the world to play golf in honor of his father's traveling spirit. But a realization came to Pete and the guys that maybe it was time to do something even more meaningful. And then this year as I turned 50, we just kind of decided it was time to do it. And when we decided to do it as a fundraiser, man, I, I got so much help. I'm just so grateful for everybody who pitched in to kind of help me get started. And we've already raised over $30,000 uh, for the charity in our first 25 days. So we feel pretty good about that. The Centers for Disease Control say 100 million Americans are either diabetic or pre-diabetic, meaning one in every three people have this incurable disease. But it shouldn't stop anyone from living their life to the fullest. A message Pete's son's Gavin received from LPGA star Allie McDonald, who, like Gavin, is also type 1 diabetic. She was wonderful. I don't know if she knows how wonderful she was, because she looked at my son, who's an average cross-country athlete in high school, right? And Allie McDonald, who's on the LPGA tour, said, no, you and I understand each other. We're both athletes. We know what it's like to push ourselves. It was great. I could see my son kind of puff up with pride and maybe think I got this. You know, I could overcome this too. So that was a really special moment for me. It may look like it, but this is no vacation for Pete Crozier. This 50-day journey is about remembrance, dedication, and above all, awareness for a disease that has hit Pete far too close to home. People who are uneducated see my son and think that he's done something wrong, and he hasn't done anything wrong. And there are 1.25 million Americans who haven't done anything wrong, who have type 1 diabetes too, and battle it every day. And it is a total grind. Um, it's kind of what I want this to be. This isn't a golf vacation. This is kind of a metaphor for what people with diabetes face. I'm walking every step, counting every shop, driving every mile. So if for one second I can feel what my son feels, the exhaustion, the anxiety, the unknown, the sleepless nights, then you know I'll be a better dad at the end of the day. And Pete plans on ending his 50-day journey at the Green Hill Golf Course in Worcester, Massachusetts. The same course where his father was first introduced to the game that means so much to him and his family. And if you would like to donate to the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, we'll have a link to Pete's website at montanasports.com.